Which do you find are better, the imported or the local tomatoes? Um, local tomatoes, definitely. You can't beat that rich ruby red um, okay, color. Taking out the seeds from the tomato. Taking out the inner inner core. And again, we're... we're Don't you think that um, maybe the locally grown tomatoes might be because of the sunshine or whatever? I find they're much stronger in flavor. Very much so. Like our celery. You Very can't compare so. our celery to the foreign celery. It's just it's two totally different things. Okay, and so we're cutting again straight down mm -hmm. and then we're just turning so everything is being cubed yes so we okay. have this really nice very similar size in terms of dice and for presentation you know it really does finish the okay place, now we speak. actually have here different cooking times mm -hmm. and so that's why we're doing it just each each component separately okay flash pan and we have a, our absorbent another paper. secret folks right so starting off with a little bit of olive oil just a little bit mm -hmm. maybe about a tablespoon mm -hmm. Deborah put into this I want to make sure that it starts to smoke so it gets because it's such a small dice yeah. that you don't want it you don't want it to cook completely you want a little you crunch. Want it, yeah so you just want to get the, the pot hot enough you know, that I, you're searing it don't you find that a lot of people think that they have to cook vegetables to the point where they're all soft and soggy to be able to eat them correct um, but I don't think that's actually the case I prefer all my vegetables to have a little crunch in there. A little there. al dente, as we yeah, say. Yeah, a little al dente. Al dente meaning that on the tooth, Correct. al dente, <laughs> it's still a little bite to it. Resistance. Okay, so we basically have it where we want. Okay. Just want a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper because we're just laying flavors. You can just give that a little toss for me here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's smelling good even though it's just mm -hmm. zucchini or squash. Mm -hmm. and so, it just little literally little another minute and then we're taking it off okay and it can come off now mm -hmm. you see it's not even we're going to put it here correct we're there doing we the go. same thing with the body the body is going to take just a little bit longer because you with the body want to make sure that it's body uh, and string beans look exactly the same but i find one softer than the other yes and body is is much longer yeah um, you know, I love to go and steal body straight off the vine and eat it raw. It also, can also be called snake beans. So we're putting a little bit of salt again, layering, mm -hmm. and a little bit of pepper. And we let, no, we didn't letting put it pepper here, that, that's all right. No, no, just laying. And then we just a little bit of water, just so we get a slight steam going on. Instead of, instead of cooking the body or blanching it in mm -hmm. water, to retain all those water soluble vitamins that are actually just using a little secret. bit of water yeah. you're really getting you're keeping all the minerals all the vitamins in and wow. the little bit of the little bit of water actually there's like a steaming method there you're getting some nice color i'm going to put a little bit of water again the and it's also also caramelizing a little bit so you're yes, going to get see a that. nice it's getting a nice little golden color to it. yeah oh look at that that's the steam coming off here that is absolutely delightful. Wow! Deborah and Ian are on fire! Well, not literally. Anyway, make sure and stay tuned. We'll be right back. As I said before, we have some items that are actually cooked and some items that are not because you want to keep that freshness. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have these two items. We're putting it in our bowl. You want both of them in here? Yes, please. Okay. And folks, you know, as you all know, when you put anything into oil, we put the, even though it is extra virgin olive oil and it's very good for you, we take the paper just to blot up that little excess oil. Because even though it's good oil, it does still contain a bit of fat. Okay, so we have some tomatoes diced in. We have some sweet peppers as well. Mm -hmm. So, freshly diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Sweet peppers, red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers. And we're just going to mix this in nicely. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Lots of color. But you know, in food, I think that the eye really has to have its part Most as well. Most definitely. Okay, and we're going to add a little bit of salt. I think we in the Caribbean actually enjoy more color than most people. <laughs> and Ian, if you can pass me that roasted pumpkin a little bit, we'll oh, talk goodness, about it. Oh, goodness, yes. I actually spied this lying over here. I was wondering <laughs> what it was. So that's roasted pumpkin. Yes, again, because of the healthiness about it, what we've done is we've taken a regular pumpkin, 
Cut it up in cubes, put a little bit of salt, pepper and garlic, mm -hmm. popped it in the oven 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so not too long, you don't want to overcook no, it. Again, because we want a little bit of a bite and it's going to, what we call carryover cooking time, it's going to mm. still continue to cook when you pull it out of the oven. So we're going to add this in now. So you've let it cool before we're adding Completely. it to this, even you, though the other two ingredients are still warm. If you, yes, the, the thing about the warmness with that is that it just brings out when you have those two. All the flavors. Yes, Okay. Yes. Um, this has to be cool because you don't want it if you if you add it when it's hot It's going to basically break up Okay, that, but for the first time and I, I promise you this is the first time in my life I ever tried to eat raw Pumpkin mm -hmm. it was about maybe three weeks ago And I was actually quite astounded at the fact that it is sweet But yes, I suppose it is. it is from the melon family so it stands to reason that it is could be sweet mm -hmm. But I just never tried it and it really is good Just a tad of oil Ian because again just for a little flavor. Okay. I would say just about a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. A little bit more salt. Okay. And then if you don't mind on the cutting board, just cut a piece of lime. Sure. Like a wedge or or um, two wedges we're going to squeeze into it. And then we're also going to two halves? Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We're going to also add a little bit of chopped cilantro. So if you don't mind chopping up some fresh cilantro, oh, we're going to add some I'll of leave that into it. And uh, I'll just take a bunch. Now, cilantro we've spoken about mm -hmm. is um, quite similar uh, in flavor to Shadow Benny. It's Correct. much milder. Um, and it looks a bit like parsley, so you could get confused easily in the supermarket. But as you see, um, the leaves are, are broad. It doesn't look like Shadow Benny at all, but the flavor is along those lines. It's a little, and it's a little more delicate than Shadow Benny. Shadow yes. Benny, to me, works very well with our stews and our curries. Um, the great thing about cilantro is that it is very delicate and you really want to, a tip is you really want to put it in at the end of any cooking. Mm -hmm. um, if you do, if you you're, yes, if you're cooking something hot, a stew, you really want to put it in at the very end and just mm -hmm. let those delicate oils and the flavor of the cilantro, the perfume flavor just sort of mm. speak. Oh, a, a little bit more. No, a little want, bit more. Yeah, you can't yeah, ever have yeah. enough of this, can That's you? That's right. We want that fresh... There we go. So mm -hmm. be abundant with the cilantro, folks. Okay. And our salsa is finished. And now we're going to get ready to finish mm. up now. That looks delightful. Okay. So shall we, um, what are we doing now? We're going to check the chicken? Yeah, we're going to check the chicken and then we're going to get ready to plate out. Okay, let me go have a quick check and then okay. we'll come back and plate out. As always, I have a very special guest who's going to join us right here on Taste. Make sure and get your looks in order. Yes, and we have a very special guest, my good friend, fashion designer extraordinaire Peter Elias is here with us. Welcome. I like the big up, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. So tell me, what's going on with you these days? I haven't been hearing about you, but I know that your work is around. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, you know, I, I used to run the Mystery Night Tobago for almost 15 years, and most people mm -hmm. know me in that reference. Yes. And even though I don't run it anymore, I, I assist all the representatives, and, and right. it's a it's a fantastic promotion for Trinidad Tobago. So I'm very sort of gung-ho, like enthusiastic about it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I've been focusing for the last couple of years on my line, my business. There are three lines we produce. Right. And my intention is to take it global. Oh. So, yeah. How has that been going? Fantastic, you know. And Trinidad is a great test market for these productions because we have a great audience. Mm -hmm. uh, taste level is excellent. And, and so I've been making all my mistakes locally within my retail outlets to test, mm -hmm. to see which cuts, fabrics, price points. Plus I do a lot of styling, we do image consultants, we yes. do professional looks and mm -hmm. campaigns and, and that sort of stuff. So I, I, it's been busy, you know, I, I have children to support, I have rent to pay, I have bills, you know. Mouths to feed. <laughs> Mouths to feed, you know, <laughs> you know it is. Um, now tell me, what is perhaps the most challenging thing about what you do? You know what, um, I think because our, our job is to please others, mm -hmm. It's important to always please others, and and that is like the biggest pressure, you know. Have I am I as good as my last job? Have I pleased ah. the client or the person? And, and 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 because we take seriously what we do, we want to do our best. I mean, I don't do it because I was oh, I have a job to do. I mean, I do it because I really. So hey, okay, that's the difficult. That's the most challenging part of the job. Last question: How do I look? Uh, good profile, huh? 
But I mean, you know, the shirt, uh, you know, it's... Okay, it's, uh, we, 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 we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. I think you have to go on now. Yeah, yeah, I'm They're looking forward. Stone. Can't wait. It's my, one of my favorite chefs, so hey. Yes, yes, indeed. Stay with us. Deborah and Ian are cooking up a healthy storm. Stay tuned for the plating. Welcome, Peter. Good to see you. You know that, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you. Great. Wow. So, you've come here to learn some incredible cooking, Peter, because Deborah's prepared the most amazing meal here. I've been looking on and I'm excited. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started. And the first thing we're putting on is our base sauce. And again, because it's healthy, it's actually what gives it this wonderful color is um, fresh carrot juice uh -huh. and a little bit of chicken stock. Looks good. Oh, and some of the, the same um, spices that we had in our rub, I actually put. So again, we're layering flavors. We have some local sweet potatoes that we've just boiled whole, thrown up on the grill with a little bit of olive oil, so it's not very, it's like you said, a little bit of a French fried version. And this wonderful salsa that I, is smelling wonderful and very colorful. Nice, giving a us a taste of it while we're on the break, and I can tell you it tastes delicious too. Textures. And we're going to finish off with That's our chicken. grilled chicken breast. And that is such a healthy meal, ladies and gentlemen. Healthy. It looks, and, and looks good. Well, you're yeah, going to get a taste. Don't worry. You're going to have a little taste of that now. But before we do that, Peter, tell me how things have been going. Good. I mean, busy work um, developing my label. I want to do a PTLS export label, which we're testing for about a year or two. Yes. It's been going excellently. I mean, I'm very pleased with the reaction. Um, designing and styling is similar to food, as you both know, mm -hmm. in that it's it about presentation. Is. But you're lucky because there's a big consciousness. I find people are more and more aware Definitely. about good food and Definitely. eating well. And, and as, Trin as Trinbagonians, I should say, we have a base. Huh? We know about nice flavors and layers. So it, it works well. I it's especially good... love sauces, so yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah. Come on, let's have a taste. So when I just come in and... Yeah. yeah. Wow. Just a little bit using my people using to cut yeah. a little piece. And well, let me just try the Yeah, dishes. salsa the sauce. Let's have a look. Mm. Good, eh? Wow. <laughs> I told you I snuck a taste and it was delicious. This, there's and a little bit of a chili, a little bit of that chili mm -hmm. that we had in the cayenne that comes through. It's a little crunchy too. Yes, like nice texture. texture. Yeah. Fresh and clean. Mm. Mm. Yeah? Good. You have to try it at home, <laughs> <can I? laughs> so That's what this program is all about because we're teaching everyone at home all of our chef's mm. secrets. And well, I tell you, Deborah has shared a whole bunch of secrets with us today. So you know what? This is delicious. Oh my gosh. Peter? Can I have some more? Yes, of course you can have some more. Have as much as you like. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave you here for this week. And we want you to come back and join us next week for some more secrets, more tidbits to make your cooking much easier at home. Right here on Taste on CNC3. Try this. I have, got try to have this. a little more. I know I tried it before. But it's so good. Excuse me. Mmm. 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 Go a bit here. That is delightful. Thank you.